Our first reading is from Exodus 20, starting with verse 1. Now we have a God who liberates us from our past, from our, from our addictions, from our hurts, from our anger and rage. But we also have a God who, who wants us to have healthy boundaries. And so this passage is about that. These boundaries are not because he wants us to be mean, but they're really for our protection. It's a guide. Look at it that way. It's a guide for our protection from ourselves and from others. So Exodus 1. Oh, Exodus 20, starting with verse 1. Listen to God's word. God spoke all these words. I am God. Your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of a life of slavery. No other gods, only me. No carved gods of any size, shape, or form of anything whatever, whether of things that fly or walk or swim. No using the name of God, your God, in curses or silly banter. God won't put up with the irreverent use of his name. <clears throat> Observe the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Work six days and do everything you need to do. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to God, your God. Don't do any work, not you, nor your son, nor your daughter, nor your servant, nor your maid nor your animals, not even the foreign visitor in your town. For in six days God made heaven, earth, and sea, and everything in them. God rested on the seventh day. Therefore, God blessed the Sabbath day. He set it apart as a holy day. Honor your father and mother, so that you'll live a long time in the land that God, your God, is giving you. No murder, no adultery, no stealing, no lies about your neighbor. No lusting after your neighbor's house, or wife, or servant, or maid, or ox, or donkey. Don't set your heart on anything that is your neighbor. All the people experiencing the thunder and lightning, the trumpet blast, and the smoky mountain were afraid. They pulled back and stood at a distance. They said to Moses, you, you speak to us and we'll listen. But don't, God, don't have God speak to us or we'll die. Then Moses spoke to the people, don't be afraid. God has come to test you and instill a deep, deep reverent awe within you so that you won't sin. This is a word from God. Thanks be to God. Please join me in our prayer of confession. <clears throat> God, you set before us the ways of life and death. You give us the ten words to live by and people to show us the way. Yet in the freedom blow into our knees, we resist your directions. We follow your people and your way when it is convenient. We leave so much undone and so many unloved. Too often we walk away as, as if what we do or what we have done does not matter to you, the person involved, or us. You know the transformation it would take to make us open our hearts to a true desire to do the right thing for no other reason than the love of you, our neighbor, and ourselves. With fear and trembling, we ask you to do it. Confront us, transform us, 
encourage and sustain us, that we might, with joy and thanksgiving, be more faithful in our witness to you and Christ.